I recently talked about how both LA teams are performing well, but then if you look on the East Coast, you have both New York teams being really competitive. Now I know that NYC FC has not won a game yet, but those that that one loss and a tie, they they they're still showing us that they're still the team to beat in Major League Soccer. Like you have to, in, in order for you to beat NYC FC, you have to bring your A game. Like don't, don't don't be fooled just because they didn't win a game yet that that doesn't mean anything. It's only been two weeks, and if you watch how they play, like the the. The way the LA, LA Galaxy beat them, LA Galaxy had to bring their A game. Um, the tie with um, the Vancouver tie, Vancouver had to bring their A game. But at the same time, Van those two teams are not pushovers. LA Galaxy and Vancouver, those two teams are not pushovers. And for the defending champion to start off the season on the road against those two teams, it's very tough. And NYC, FC, they've been holding their weight. But what about that other New York team, though? Have you seen the New York Red Bulls f to start the first two weeks of the season off? This New York Red Bull team look different. This doesn't look like the same New York Red Bull team that I watched last season. This New York Red Bull team look like they're a team on a mission. In the first two weeks of the season, they have scored seven goals. They dominated San Jose in week one, and they dominated Toronto in week two. I wonder, after their playoff loss to Philadelphia last season, that if the New York Red Bulls were sitting at home and watching NYC FC perform, I wonder if they're saying, no way they can do this. No way that the team who we allow to play on our home field, a team that needs us to provide a home for them, no way in the world are they going to win a championship. There's no way, no way. I wonder if that was going through their head and then to see that team, that homeless team win a championship I wonder if it lit some kind of fire inside the Red Bulls. Because the Red Bulls look like a different team. They look like a team that's on a mission. They, 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 they look motivated. They look like they have a goal. They look like the team that says, we want to be the face of New York. We're not gonna allow that other team, we're not gonna allow that homeless organization to be the face of New York. We're going to be the face of New York. We're the ones that have our own stadium. We're the ones that allow them to come play at our home because they don't have a home. The New York Red Bulls are saying to themselves, how, can, how do we allow the homeless team to win a championship before us? How did the homeless team win a championship before us? I wonder if of th those thoughts going through New York Red Bulls head, which has motivated them to play well. You know, the two New York teams, it's, 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 it's the same argument. I mean, it's, it's the same, it's the same um, idea. The same idea that I have for the Los Angeles teams, that both Los Angeles teams should be relevant. It can be the same in New York. Major League Soccer does not have to be like the other leagues. There doesn't have to be a big brother, little brother team. Why not both teams perform well? What's the point of a city having two teams when only one team performs well? If that's the case, you might as well just have one team. So the same way that is good for Major League Soccer for both LA teams to be good, is the same way for the league when both New York teams are good. When both New York teams are performing well, when both New York teams are on a collision course to when, when both New York teams are on a collision course for Eastern Conference supremacy, 
along with New England, that's going to draw the media. That is what's going to draw the New York media. And when the New York media starts paying more attention to your league, more people will start paying attention to your league. So I like what I've seen out of the Red Bulls. And I'm, I'm surprised because this same aggressive New York Red Bulls team that I've seen in the first two weeks, I didn't see it last season. I didn't see it at all. And if Lewis Morgan, if he consistently performs, now I understand he's not gonna score three goals every game because that's impossible for a player to do that. But if, if he shows up to play like Joseph Martinez does in Atlanta, if he shows up to play the way like Chitarito does in Los Angeles, if Lewis Morgan truly steps up to be that guy, the Red Bulls will truly be able to challenge NYC, FC, and New England for that Easter Conference supremacy. Do you want to be like? Do you want to be like? Do you put your me like? Do you put your me like? Or will I be like? Oh.